What is up guys? Welcome back to another LED lighting video. It feels like I've done way too many of these, but um, I just love LED lighting. So, um, so the story for today's video is that my fiance has a Mazda 3. It's a 2009 Mazda 3 and I wanted to convert it to LED. She likes LED lighting as well. She's kind of a gearhead like I am. Um, so she, she wanted to do some LED lighting too. So I got three different brands. I figured I'd do another video. I got three different brands. So I got some Oxbeam, some Nail Lighting, and some LazFit lights as well. So the Oxbeam I got for um, the high beams for her car since they use two different ones. H7 is low beam, and then I think it's a 9005 for the high beam. Got some ox beam headlights for the, um, for the high beam, and then I got some Neo lighting for the low beams. Um, Neo also sent me um, some T10 bulbs for the inside um, map lights, and so we installed those as well. I think that's all the lights I got. Um, Overall, they're pretty cool. I mean, they're all in the same class of LED lighting, so they're not really the high-end ones like JDM that I use on my cruise, um, but they do the job. So today we're gonna take a look at them. So let's dive right into it. What's up, Ghost? There, it's from Nao. Um, it's LED lighting. I'm not, I'm not too familiar with their brand, but they want us to test out some LED lights for them. We have headlights. Um, these are for the low beams, I believe. And then we have some T10 interior lights as well that we're gonna install. So, I mean, they look good, they look good. All right, so this is the H7 bulb. Um, the packaging they sent me said it was for the, the high beam, but it, H7 is actually the low beam on the Mazda 3. Um, so yeah, and I'm thinking if you come over here, you might have to, um, on my FZ6, I had the same clip thing I already mentioned, and I had to modify the, the dust boot which is the same on this car. It looks like I'm gonna have to modify it if I want the dust boot still, like in the car. I don't think it would make too much of a difference, but especially with LEDs and stuff, you don't want dust getting in everything because on the back of these, there's a heat sink. You just don't want too much dust getting in places. So, um, we'll at least plug them in and see how they look, but um, I'm not sure if we'll modify it yet or not. Just with that one bulb, I don't think it's worth it. Like, just low beams. You'd want both high beams and low beam to be LED if you wanted to do that. Um, I don't think it's worth it with just a low beam to do it, to modify a bunch of stuff. So, um, we're not gonna install them for now. Maybe in the future, if Neo sends us a, a set of high beams as well, um, then we'll do it. But until that point, I don't think it's worth it. Um, we'll install some T10 bulbs, but for now, the headlights, having just one set, not worth it so that's the situation all right so we're about to go on to a trip tomorrow in the mazda and oxbeam actually hooked us up with some led high beams um so nao hooked us up with some low beams but i really really wanted to get some high beams i emailed them they didn't really email back um so oxbeam actually emailed and said that they'd hook us up with some high beams so these look freaking awesome too. Let me show you guys these things. So these actually remind me a lot of JDM bulbs. Um, I'm not saying they're as high quality. I haven't really tested them yet, but check these things out. They've got like the the whole aluminum. Got, they just look really nice. They just look really nice. So I hope these are easy to install. So let's get to it. It's almost dark. And so I need to get to it. Thanks by the way, Oxbeam, thank you. Yeah, as you can see in there, the aux beam light is looking real nice. And it just connected right up with the stock connector. Let's see how it looks. Nice interior lighting from Nao. Look at that, those new high beams from aux beam are insane. Awesome, awesome lights. And again, simple plug and play. Um, so going from outside the car, look how much light that it adds to the road that's insane anyway yeah oxbeam hooked it up really nice lights so those are your high beams right there and those are your low beams high beams insane dude all right so let's just do a full walk around of the lights that we got um so i told you we had the um the low beams that was from nail lighting high beams was from oxbeam nail lighting also hooked us up with some interior lighting as well for the with the T10 bulbs and then Lazfit hooked us up with some brake lights so let's just let's just start from the front so the low beams go ahead and turn those lo those on so this is the Neo 
lighting for the low beams. They're pretty good. I wouldn't say they're outstanding. Again, they're just kind of like the lower end LEDs. They make the car look super cool, but it's definitely not a JDM bulb. They're pretty bright and they do match the stock halogen bulbs as far as lumen output, but again, they only match the halogen bulbs. They don't do anything crazy with them, but all right, and then go ahead and hit the high beams. And the high beams are from Oxbeam. They are freaking bright um, and they're awesome. But I have some clips from the, the nighttime, so we'll get to that. So that's from Oxbeam, super cool. And then in here, the interior lighting. This is Young Swag. <laughs> and interior lighting, we got some T10 bulbs from <laughs> the map lights from Neo. Um, they're really nice. T10 bulbs. I have nothing bad to say about them. They're really good. Um, and they're very budget oriented. <laughs> you can get these uh, really cheap on Amazon. So um, really like them. I also got another LED for the dome light, um, but that was from AliExpress. That was not from any of these um, light manufacturers. So coming around to the back are the LazFit brake lights. Go ahead and give those a go really nice. LazFit hooked it up. LazFit is really nice. So go ahead and just tap them a couple times. Yeah. So that's LazFit lights. A couple more times. Okay, good. Yeah, so that's LazFit brake lights and they look like alien lights. Like I, I wasn't familiar with the style of them. Um, but they look really cool and they work really, really well. So yeah, LazFit brake lights really nice, easy to install, put them right in, and it's good to go. All right, so my overall thoughts with, uh, with the lighting that we got for this car, um, headlights, the low beams from, from Neo, they're okay. Um, if you wanna give your car the look of LED and still not compromise on light output, Neo is just fine. Um, the high beams for the aux beam, high beams are freaking awesome, I totally recommend them. Interior lighting by Neo, T10 bulbs, pristine, love those bulbs as well. And then the brake lights from LazFit are absolutely awesome. So, all right. All right, so there you have it. Um, that is the lighting that I got for the 2009 Mazda 3. Um, she loves it. It's about a month and a half later that I'm doing this video, almost two months now, and they're still going strong. Um, they're still really cool, and they make the car look really good. Um, she's happy with them. I'm happy with them and I'm kind of picky with my LED lighting, but I'm happy with them. And as I said before, they are in the same class of lighting. They're kind of on the cheaper side of lights. Yeah, so if you're looking for just the cheaper end LED lighting, um, either, either brand, any of the brands I mentioned here today, they work just fine. Um, LazFit, the brake lights looked really cool. I wasn't familiar with that style of design. Um, so. I mean, they looked really cool. Neo and the Oxbeam. Oxbeam I've used before, actually, um, and they've always been a good product. Um, Neo I was new to, um, but they seem like they have some pretty high quality stuff. The T10 bulbs were kind of like the aluminum one, so it's pretty cool. Um, but again, I can't really attest to Neo being good over time. I'm sure they're just fine. All right, I, I think that does it. There's a link in the description if you want to check it out. Um, but other than that, I think that's it so all right guys I hope this video helped you guys out uh, if you have any questions leave them down below I'm always responding and always replying to you guys but I think that's it all right guys until next time I'll see you in the next video